Hello, 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 everybody. Hi, our matey. <laughs> it's pirate treasure night. Yes. So, we're going to be painting uh, pirate ships and sharks and treasure and all sorts of things. So, say hello, hello, hello. If you're painting with me tonight, let me know if anyone's painting with you with me tonight. Let me know if you're new to East Creations Family Paint Party. What? So, of course, we got to give props to you know who. -who. He's lounging. <laughs> He's lounging. That's what he's doing. All right. Let me uh, show you my handy dandy table so you know what's going on. Okay, so for, first and foremost, we have the coffee and the water. And the brushes this evening are Big Boy. He is a one inch flat. We have uh, Tiny in the house. He is a small round for details. We have Mini Me. He is a shader. He looks just like Big Boy, except he's small. And of course, Mr. Nifty. Who doesn't like to go in the water so we're gonna leave him out when you clean your brushes you want to swirl you want to tap you want to dab on your paper towel you want them to be wet but not dripping alrighty so the paint same paint every single party we got white yellow red blue and black oh yeah <clears throat> so that is all set and let me find the right button <laughs> Hello, 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 Jincy. How you doing, sweetheart? Hello, 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 Tina B. How are you, lovey? How is everybody doing tonight? It is Friday night. So, my name is Eve, and this is Eve's Creations Paint Party. I don't think I said that. I was too busy pirating. Arr. <laughs> I'm probably going to do R like, to the point of annoying in this video, just to give you a heads up. <laughs> just to let you know that the R is going to be, uh, I got smudges on my camera here. All right, that's better. Um, the R is going to be in, uh, full, full effect. <laughs> yes, I try to make myself look piratey. I got myself a little, I don't know if I put that on the right side. Jack Sparrow has it on one of his cheeks, so, and... With wine colored lips I you know I don't know what uh, rum is <laughs> hello 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 Carolyn how you doing tonight so um yeah say hello 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 if you're painting with us tonight I'm gonna put you guys in your handy dandy holder go over a few things with you and uh, we'll get started all right sounds good sounds good to me let's paint people let's paint has anybody noticed in their painting adventure that you know like uh, Painting just makes you feel better. I mean, regardless of what's going on in life and, and, and like anything that might be like, you know, bothersome or troublesome that as soon as I just start slapping paint on a canvas, I'm moving you back so you can get the whole situation here. Um, so I am working on a 16 by 20 canvas. It is 16 this way, 20 straight across. Uh, if you're working on something different, that is fine. Hello, 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 Carol. Hi, Carolyn. I am, um, as long as you're in the general area of your canvas that I am in, you will be good. Hello, 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 Helen. How are you, sweetheart? Um, and I cannot show you both at once what I'm working on and the actual picture. So uh, if you need a reference, take your screenshot. Right, just swipe across your screen or hit a button or whatever you got to do to take your screenshot so you have your reference throughout this video okay and uh, Carolyn is still working on the wisteria Eiffel Tower painter painting I love it six thousand percent uh, you invited your granddaughter to watch don't know if mom is letting her she's our uh, time for lessons nice Jincy I love it six thousand percent all right so um, since Jincy brought it up all of my videos are kid friendly. <laughs> I crack myself up. Anyway, all of my videos are uh, kid friendly. So uh, I'm going to try to watch this thing. And if you guys could watch your comments, that would be great. All right, guys. Um, so I don't, uh, I don't know if stars is enabled. Oh wait, I couldn't find the button. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. They changed my buttons again. They keep pressing my buttons. Facebook keeps pressing my buttons. I don't know what they're doing. There might be a link for PayPal uh, to send support. Of course, I have Venmo and Cash App. Make sure I get your address so you get your free gift. All right? So, hello, everybody. All right, we're going to get started because i got a lot to do. There's a lot to this painting, 
So uh, I'm going to keep cruising. Ha <laughs> ha, no pun intended because we're painting the ship. And, uh, you know, 6,000%, ask me if you have any questions. Definitely say hello, hello, hello so we can get roll call going on. And um, I'm happy you're here too, Marie Marie. Absolutely, 6,000%. I'm happy you guys are all here. You guys make the party. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just the one that shows you how to paint. You guys are the party. <laughs> Six. You guys are so much the party. I'm telling you, you really are. I love our little painting fam. I love that we get new, new people all the time. I love that uh, some of you have been painting with me forever that you could actually answer the questions. So that's always, uh, that's always very heartwarming. You guys is what makes this happen. So, um, hello, 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 Joan, you found me. Yes, you did, sweetheart. You found me. Everybody give Joan a warm Eve's Creations family welcome. She's on live with us tonight. She's been, uh... She's been waiting to get live. Hi, Peggy. How are you doing, sweetheart? Peggy found us, too. Give a warm welcome to Peggy, too. Joan found me. Peggy found me. You guys can find me. It's not that hard. And if you follow my page, I think you get notified. I think you get notified if you follow my page. So, um, there's a little heads up. I just dropped my pen. Lost the pen. Where'd the pen go? There's the pen. <laughs> found the pen. <laughs> it was under my feet. Oh, that would have been a trip and a half. Like, for real, a trip and a half. Okay. So, I hope you got your reference. We're going to paint. It's the almighty blank canvas. Oh, it's so scary. But we're going to hit it with our almighty brushes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we're going to make it beautiful. We're going to make it beautiful. All right, scroll tap that big boy. He's a one inch flat. And we're going right in with yellow. We're going right in with yellow and maybe a microscopic amount of white. Okay? Yellow and white. Straight across. All right, so when you're painting this, you want to turn around and make sure that you're leaving room for everything. All right, so when you're looking at this, you want to leave. Thank you, Tina B. Um, you want to leave. Um, am I freezing up again? I don't know what to do about that. Uh, hopefully it just sorts itself out because I, uh, I don't know what to do about any of that. <laughs> uh so, you got to make sure you're leaving enough room for everything, okay? So, our water line is uh, pretty high up because we have to fit the boat and we have to fit everything that's on the bottom. Everything. All right, I'll try a button. Let's see if that button helped. Um... Everything that's on the bottom is starting right about here, and your boat's going to be, like, right here, okay? So, just keep that in mind as you're putting in your sky and water lines. All right? So, yellow and white. I hit a button, guys. I hope that, that's helping. I hope that's helping. Hitting a button. All right, so we're going to just turn around, and this is yellow and white, and uh, it is. It is. It is uh, by my uh, Wi-Fi agency. I think there might be a storm rolling in, so that might be the problem. I don't know. I got one more button I can try that puts me on my phone data, but the phone data runs even slower than my Wi-Fi. So, um, not really sure what to do about that. It's much better. Much better. All right, because I hit one button. And you know me and hitting buttons. 
You know me and hitting buttons. I'm not that, uh, you know, I get a little scared about hitting the buttons because I don't want to lose all you guys. You know what I'm saying? So, hopefully that helped that one button that I hit. Hello, 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 Kelly. How you doing, sweetie? Kelly's popping in real quick. Hi, Kelly. How you doing, sweetheart? All right, so you want to definitely put more yellow. It's better? Cool. It's better? Yeah, so it's better, and then now my comments aren't scrolling. I can't. I can't with this technology stuff. It drives me absolutely nutty. Who saw it out, Eve? Who saw it out? All right, so you're definitely going to want to make your yellow area bigger than what you actually want it because uh, yellow gets eaten up really, 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 really fast. All right, and I have to put another coat on here because it completely dried playing with all those buttons. So I am just grabbing yellow paint now. And I'm making sure that this is nice and um, wet for when we add the uh, reds in. And putting this on, guys, putting it in your water and your sky and all of that, make sure that you're doing a very thin layer. Nice and thin and smooth because we have a lot of details to do. And um, hello, 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 Debbie. How you doing, sweetheart? Kelly, I hope you can make it. That would be nice. Because um, we've got a lot of details to do. And if you're putting this on too thick, you're never going to get the details done. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, some red. Dirty brush and all. Dirty brush and all. And, uh, you know, hold your brush back here straight up onto your canvas. And you're going to do your waterline across. Right? right across right across and start it a little lower start it a little lower than what you want because as you're messing with it because we can't leave stuff alone um, it's gonna wind up getting higher and higher so start it a little lower and then as you're playing with it faster you go straighter it's going to be okay you gotta go in with like no fear just hold your brush uh, right here Put it up against your canvas and go with no fear. If you're on a flat table, uh, turn your canvas um, straight up and down. And then just pull a line going straight down. Because we do, um, we do down uh, easier than we do across. So we do down easier than we do across. And I'm going to come up behind you guys. Uh, to see how mine's looking. Yeah, mine's crooked. <laughs> and this is why I said start lower. Because look how far into my sky I got already. Just playing with this. So I'm sneaking up behind you guys. Painting on the side. I uh, Lots of times I'm like off center. Well, we knew that already. Uh, I'm off center. And uh, sometimes my lines aren't straight. From painting off to the side. But, you know, it doesn't matter what I have on my canvas as long as you're getting the um, instruction to do it the way it needs to get done on your canvas. I'm like drooping to the right here. <laughs> I don't know why that is. All right. So let's try to bring that up a little bit. And there we go. All right, that's as good as it's going to get. We're going to stop playing with that. Say, stop playing with it, Eve. Stop playing with it. All right, so now you're going to grab uh, your red and your yellow. You're going to grab your red and yellow, okay? So a lot of yellow because the uh, red's going to eat it up. The red's going <laughs> to eat it up, okay? So a lot of yellow. And you're just going to come in, right, you know, and just follow your line here with the brush turned the other way. With the brush turned the other way. And go, you know, do these nice long strokes back and forth so it's nice and thin. Nice and thin and flat. So a whole lot of yellow, a little bit of red. whole lot of yellow, a little bit of red. Nice, thin, flat. 
long strokes, okay? And then as you work your way down, you wanna just start grabbing more and more red. So now I'm just gonna put red on my brush. I'm gonna start out here, and then as I, I'm gonna move it up and go back and forth a few times, and it's gonna blend right into that orangey area. All right, so just grab red on your brush when you hit this point, about midway, and you start in the clean canvas, and then you just move your brush up, a few swipes back and forth, and it'll blend right in. You gotta make sure that your paint is nice and wet. You gotta make sure that your paint is nice and wet when you do this, because uh, if it's not, it's not gonna blend in, right? See that hard line right there? See that hard line? But if I go with my brush, whoop, whoop, two little light swipes, it blended in because my uh, my paint is nice and wet. All right, that's why it blended in. All right, guys, six thousand percent. You can do this. All right, so now, now you got to clean your brush off. All right, so wipe it off first. Wipe it off first. Get all those goops and globs off of it. Give it a good wipe, wipe. Get all that goopy out of it. And now swirl tap tab. And because we're going to swirl tap that because we have to transition into the uh, purples and the blues. And we don't want any yellow in our brush, right? We had yellow, yellow, and then started just putting red. Uh, that red's going to be the buffer, okay? So the red's going to be a buffer between the yellow colors and the purples and blue colors because we don't want any, um, you know, if you get green, that's fine. It's water, but... We're going to try not to get green. So give a few, you know, see see how the yellow's coming out? So give a few swirl tap dabs. Give a couple swirl tap dabs. And, uh, you know, give them a nice push push. Follow on the shape of your bristles, though, like this. And um, just to make sure that the yellow is out of your brush. Hi everybody, I hope the uh, the feed is working now. Sorry about that. I am sorry when that happens. I'm not very good with buttons. So we just need to uh, say a prayer, give it to the universe, and uh, whoo, we'll saw it out. And hopefully everything's gonna work just the way we need it to. Okay, so my brush is nice and clean. I'm gonna go back into that red. Nice and clean. Make sure you're not putting your brush into red that has yellow in it. All right, and I'm going to do my my stripe of red now because um, remember I said your paint has to be wet. Ooh, look at all these little dripples I got here. <laughs> dripples. There's a word for you. We got dripples going on. <laughs> what the heck is a dripple? <laughs> okay, now as you're working your way down, you want to just start grabbing blue. Small amounts of blue with your red right we're still good excellent so small amounts of blue with your red as you're working your way down and you want to turn around and uh start down here in the clean part and then work it upwards and then work it upwards and nice long clean strokes nice long clean strokes okay and do a little border patrol. Don't don't bring this all the way up. See how I had to stop myself with my blending action? You got it. You got to use a little self control. So starting there, and then bringing it up a few swipes, a few swipes, do do do, and then across, and then across. Okay. All right. And uh, do do do. So we're just getting this nice, uh, pretty purple going on here. I'm grabbing red and blue. If you want to make this a little less dark, you can grab a microscopic amount of white and put the white in there, and it makes it a little less dark. Okay, so if you want to do that, you can do that. It's your, it's your water. It's your... Uh, you know, you do what you want to do. I'm just telling you how to do it. You do you do it the way you want to do it. But now I'm just into red and blue. Red and blue. And you can make it more blue. You can make it more red. You could do whatever you want to do. It 
doesn't matter if you want to add a little microscopic amount of white to brighten it a little bit you can do that the only thing I need you to do is keep it nice thin strokes if you notice I'm going back and forth a lot and thinning this out and making it nice and smooth because we got a lot of details to throw on here and uh, you don't want goopy globby painting mess because then you're not going to be able to get your details on here and this is literally what I'm doing on my brush see that so blue red microscopic amount of white and then I'm just going back and forth and the more you go back and forth the more it's going to blench now I'm just going to grab blue just gonna grab blue so you know you guys play with I'm splattering paint all over I just I have blue freckles now on my arm <laughs> ah, that was cold and wet <laughs> um, you know so experiment guys you know have fun um, you know practice just picking up like blue and then maybe grabbing some red on your brush maybe a small little tidbit of white on your brush and, and see what happens you know, see what happens. If you don't like it, you can always paint right back over it again. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Nope, doesn't matter at all. So, now I'm just grabbing the blue. I'm filling in the whole bottom with just blue paint. And, um, nice. See, did you notice how many times I did this so far? You know how many t Did you notice how many times I've been going back and forth like this? Number one. It makes it blend nice and soft and thin. Number two, uh, since you're using pure color without that much white, you're going to have a tendency to get brush strokes in there. See those? See those brush strokes in there? And uh, when you swipe all the way from one side to the other, like this, whoop, it gets rid of those brush strokes. See all those little brush strokes right there? Now watch. I go one end to the other. Pressing a little bit. And it's going to smooth all those right out. Right out. Just like that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Look, I got, uh, I got blue freckles. <laughs> you guys see my blue freckles? Started lagging again, not horrible, but more frequently. Yeah, maybe we're getting a storm in. I don't really know. Bill's paid. I know that much. <laughs> I don't know. I, um, I can go on my phone data, but that's usually worse. So, um, you know, guys, if you need me to repeat anything because I lagged out, I know that's so annoying. I know it is. I know when I'm trying to watch something and it's lagging, it's the most annoying thing in the world. Uh, but just bear with me guys and hopefully it um, smooths itself out if I go on the phone data it might make it worse so we'll see how it goes just we'll just send some prayers to the internet gods and and hopefully uh, we can get through this it's good okay good okay good all right so look at that guys you made a yellow sky and a transitioning, transitioning a soft water. Look at he split like. You guys like that? I know you like that. I know you like it a lot. <laughs> Didn't see you're with me. Okay, good. Yeah, let's uh, let's just send prayers to the internet gods and hopefully uh. Hopefully this all works out. How wide is my canvas? I am working on a 16 this way, Peggy, and a 20 straight and cross. And a 20 straight across. Um, if you're working on a different size canvas, that is fine. Just make sure you're in the general area of your canvas that I am in. You're going to catch the replay, Carol? Okay. All right, hon. See you on the flip side, baby. See you on the flip side, hon. I think it might be because we have like storms coming in and out. We have storms happening. And uh, you're welcome, Peggy. All right. So 
I'm giving you guys time to catch up mustard. Don't play too much. We want this to dry. And we're going to start uh, blocking in our shapes. And then we're going to do our details. And then before we know it, we're going to have sharks and pirates. Arr. <laughs> I can't do that R sound. Arr. Some people do that, that sound and they, you know, they, um, they really sound piratey. I do the R sound and I sound like I'm, uh, um, I do the R, R. <laughs> Can you guys do that sound? I'm not so good at it. <laughs> Crack myself up. I'm going to grab more red paint because we need to make browns. All right. We need to make the browns. So we need, uh, we need some reds going on here for our browns. And I'm going to grab some more yellow too. All right. So it's time to make some brown. Unless you're doing your boat a different color, which you could totally do your boat a different color. That is fine. 6,000%. That's okay. So, my brush is still got, like, I swirl tap dab that I'm not worrying about how clean he gets this time. And we're going to make some brown. Alright, guys, you know how to make brown. Every color. All the colors. So, I'm going to scoop my dirty white. <laughs> Good, Jinsey. That's the point. I'm going to scoop my dirty white. I'm going to make, you know, I'm going to give myself a nice, clean little white pile here for later. So, I'm going to scoop all the dirty white out of here. And I'm going to grab my yellow. Choop, and I'm going to grab my red. Choop, and I'm going to grab my blue. Choop, and I'm going to smash that all together. And let's see what we get. Let's see what we get, okay? And if it's looking uh, too purple, right? Like mine's looking kind of purple, you got to grab more yellow. If it's looking too green, you got to grab more red. That's all. That's all. And make a good pile of this because matching brown is um, very, very tricky. So, And mine's looking really light. So I am just going to grab all of my colors again. And I'm going to make a massive pile of brown. If you have brown paint, you got you win. You win. I'm making a mess. See that? I'm making, I'm making a mess. I love it. 6,000%. Making a mess. Making messes. Oh, yeah. Trying to keep this brown in his, in his little hole here. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is how we make a mess. <laughs> Let's just grab every color on our palette. And shove it in a little hole and hopefully it stays in its spot yep see see my brush is all a mess. everything's a mess I love it so I got my brown I'm gonna grab more yellow because it's looking a little um, and I'm gonna grab I'm just gonna scoop all of it we're just scooping all of it I just I just emptied every pod and we're just scooping all of it that's all I'm doing because uh, I don't want to run out because color I always run out right guys don't I always run out when I mix my paint and I don't want to run out tonight so that's what we're rolling with all right and I got this big mess on my brush and what we're gonna are you've asked me hearties <laughs> yes Tina I got this big mess on my brush so what am I gonna do I'm gonna come over here and just put in that little piece of rock see that we're just gonna put that in because uh, I got a lot of paint on my brush and I don't want to waste it. Alright, so I'm just going to come over here to where the sky and the water are. I'm going to start up in the sky. And I'm just going to cut in and wiggle my brush and cut in this little shape. And then I'm going to uh, just pull across and just do some dabs. Okay, and then put a piece out. There's the water up top. I'm going to put a piece out right underneath that. Piece out. And then we're going to do a few more little shapes right there. And just like that, we got a rock, baby. We got a rock. And now I'm going to go. <laughs> I always run out of brown, right? I, I shouldn't. I basically made my whole palette brown. See that? <laughs> so I should be good on brown for the rest of this video. We'll see what happens. Now I'm going to put in these two pieces. Okay, I'm going to put in these two pieces that are in the water. 
Okay, so it's going to be on uh, one corner. It's going to be on one corner. You're going to put a piece, and you want to leave some room. Make sure you're leaving room for your shark. Okay, make sure you're leaving space for your shark. All right, don't go uh, so happy with your uh, ocean bottom that you don't have room for your shark, okay? And then on the other side, too, and this side's kind of tight because we have land, shark, and boat. All right, so make sure you're only doing, like I'm doing a little less than a hand's worth. I'm doing less than a hand's worth on this corner. I just want enough of a corner to be able to put my treasure chest. All right, I just want enough of a corner to be able to put my treasure chest. 6,000%. Okay, so we're going to do our two corners. All right, now... I'm going to uh, wipe the edge on my palette. See all this paint that's in there? I'm going to wipe the edge on my palette here. Give a nice little push. Get that paint out of there. All right? I don't like to waste paint. I'm like a big don't waste paint person. I actually put my paint into Tupperwares after every video, and I use that stuff up until I can't use it anymore. Like, I actually take the leftover paint, and I'll do my abstracts with it. So when I put it in a Tupperware, um, if I'm not under my bright lights, it usually lasts about a week. <laughs> I might be covered with the brown. All right, now I'm going to wipe my brush off because we're going to do our boat. And we want, a nice, we want a nice flat brush for our boat, all right? Okay, it is time to do a boat. I know, boats are tricky. Let me go over a few things with you. Hi, Cindy. Hello, 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 sweetheart. Hello, love. So, um, let me show you a few things. Because boats can be tricky getting the angles right. And uh, we're going to see how this goes. All right, so what I want to show you is that the first thing we're going to put in is our swoop. And once we get our swoop in, then we're going to do, this piece is so awkward to paint. It really is. It's like the most awkward thing you ever try to paint is that little piece right there. All right. But what you want to keep in mind, and I'm going to repeat all this, is this little piece comes up off of the swoop and then it's an angle in. So see how this angles here? You're going to do the same angle on the other side. It is, But it's really awkward when you paint that. It, it, I don't know why. It just really is. And then, and then, and then we're going to go in and we're going to put the piece that's in the boat. All right? We're going to put the piece that's in the boat. All right? And I'm going to show you how to do all that. But the first thing we're doing is this swoop right there. All right? 6,000%. Okay, so big boy's all wiped off. He is nice and thin and flat. I'm going to bring you guys in closer. Close up. Got my little tattoo going on. <laughs> and uh, now you want to make sure that where you're putting the bottom of your boat, you're leaving room for your shark. All right, make sure you're leaving room for your shark. Okay, I'm going to grab my brown paint since I have copious amounts of brown. And I'm going to find my center. Oh, I'm going to find my center of my canvas. Oh, Woosa, right? Woosa. And we're going to do our swoop right here, guys. We're going to do our swoop. So I'm going to start around here. Got enough room for my shark. And I'm just going to swoop towards that corner. All right? So I'm going to do a little curvy curve. And then we're going to swoop towards the corner. Okay, just a big old hook. Just a big old hook. That's it. And then you're going to go from that little curvy part. And you're going to swoop that following the same swoop you just did. Just like that. Like you're making a big canoe. Canoe, canoe. Okay. Now the back of your boat. See how this is almost like straight up and down. And then I wrapped it around. The back of your boat is going to be straight up and down too. This is going to be straight up and down too. Okay? And then you're just going to connect it with the swoop. Just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't overthink in it. We're just making a big canoe. That's all we're doing. 
All right, so how did I do that? I went almost straight up and down in the middle of my canvas, left enough room for my shark. And I went almost straight up and down. I gave a little bend and I pulled this way, swoop, right to the corner. And then I put an up and down piece for the back of my boat. It's smaller than the front. It's smaller than the front. And then I followed the same swoop and attached it to that line in the back. And that's it, guys. That is the body of your boat. And now you could fill and fix. Now you could fill and fix. Okay, so now you're just going to fill that shape in. And as you're filling that shape in, if you want to grab a little bit of white on your brush, okay, you can grab a little bit of white. If you want to grab like a little bit of yellow on your brush, See that? And then I'm just going to put in these pieces. Remember all the times we painted that wood? I'm just gonna put in these pieces to kind of give it a little highlight here. Okay, towards the front and the back's gonna be darker. So in the back, I'm gonna grab a microscopic amount of black paint, microscopic. Like, hardly even on my brush. And I'm going to come to the back edge. I'm going to line my brush up with the back edge. And we're going to swoop forward this way. Just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Hello, 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 guys. All right. Now, we're going to do the, the weird piece, the piece that feels really, really, really strange. All right, so wipe your brush off, get all the gloop, blobs, gloopy, globby gloops off of them. Okay, 6,000%. And you're going to do this very strange angle. So you see this angle right here, that angle? You're going to do the same angle on the other side, just a little piece of it. Just like that. So see this angle right there? You're going to do the same little angle swoop right there. And then you're going to cut it in. It is like the weirdest thing to paint. It feels awkward. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't even feel like it looks right. It's just strange. <laughs> it's just strange. This little, little corner piece in the front of the boat. It's just very weird. I don't know why it's weird. It's just weird. Hello, 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 Brenda. How you doing, sweetie? Um, so when you're painting that in, it's okay. It's okay to be like, this doesn't look right. It feels awkward. I don't know about that piece. Stop playing with it. Do not play with it anymore. Put it in there and then forget it exists. <laughs> Forget it exists, okay? And then I want you to turn around. You're going to take a little white on your brush, and you're going to take a little bit of brown on your brush, and you're going to come over here where this point is, and you're going to take your brush, and you're going to go down that point and just make it more defined. Okay, and you're and and stop messing with it. Don't mess with it. Don't mess with that side at all. Leave it alone. <laughs> Cause it's weird and it's strange and it's and that and that's okay. <laughs> and that's okay. It's alright to have it be weird and strange. Alright, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some black paint with my brown okay black paint with my brown and um, we're gonna do the back angled part so the back angled part without actually putting your brush onto your canvas you're gonna turn around and pay attention to this swoop right right here so then you have your swoop right here 
So in your mind's eye, from this point, you got to picture it swooping to the back. All right? So what you're going to do is you're going to do a line, a horizontal line, a small one. A small horizontal line that way. And then you're going to have it come in following the swoop. See the swoop? You're kind of making like a, a, a triangle. So this is swooping like this. And then this side of the triangle is going to have like the same kind of flow. See how this is like this? And then this side needs to be the same way. And you're just going to bring it in and let it disappear. Okay? And you're going to just bring it in and let it disappear. But see how this swoop and this swoop match? It's following like the same flow. This one is more of a steeper angle than this. See how this is like that and that's like that? But this piece is up, so that piece is up. This piece is here, so that piece is here. Okay? So that's how you do the inside. And again, it's very weird. It feels weird painting it. It doesn't feel like it looks right. And all that happy stuff. And that's okay. And they never come out the same way twice. Like if you look at my original, the piece that's inside the boat on my original is really small. And that's because my boat is not as steep as this one that I'm painting. See how the angle on this one is steep? So you see more inside the boat, and this one's more flat. So you saw a very little small piece of inside the boat. So it all has to do with angles and weird stuff and, and things like that, but we're not gonna stress any of that. Now I'm just gonna grab black with my brown, and it's a boat. Um, I'm gonna grab black with my brown, and we're just gonna color in the inside of the boat. Nice and dark, just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, guys. All right, now, with this black and brown on my brush, I'm gonna come over here and put my little square in of my treasure chest. Close up! So, we're gonna do a rectangle. There's our rectangle, just like that. And then you want to do the sides, so you're going to do an angle up, same angle up that way, straight down on the edge. Straight down on the edge. And then what you want to do is you're going to um, just grab some black paint so you don't lose, like, your shape here. Finish this square off, even though you're not going to see any of this. So follow that angle and follow that angle on this side. And uh, do it with black. Okay, so this and this have the same angle. Fill that in. And then I'm going to wipe my brush off and uh, grab my uh, brown again. Now this and this. Right there. Grab a little white with my brown so I can see what I'm doing. So we have this piece, this piece, this piece this piece this piece and this piece okay and i'm just using the flat of my brush that's all i'm doing is using the flat of my brush to kind of outline this in a lighter color you can outline it in black it all depends on how dark your brown is if your brown is really really dark i just grab some white to outline it um, in the original, I grabbed black because my brown was lighter. So it's really up to you. And I'm just going to do a few swipey swipes. Just like that. 
And then we need the lid. We need the lid. And let me put my edge over here. I'm probably going to cover that edge, but we'll just put it in just to finish the, complete the, the box. We're going to complete it. Okay, and then we need our lid. So I'm going to grab my brown, and I'm just going to go upwards, upwards. This should be the same length as that. This should be the same length as that. Cut it across. Boop. And we made a treasure chest. What? You guys are so good. You're so good. I'm telling you. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. We have our treasure chest. There it is. <laughs> Gotta have pirate treasure. All right, guys. I'll give you a chance to catch up mustard because some of you are still playing with this thing, which you shouldn't be doing. But you probably are. <laughs> the more you play with it, you're just going to make it worse. <laughs> I'm telling you. Boats is like, do it and leave it alone. Because if you keep messing with it as I'm playing with it. But I'm just adding highlight. Um, boats are, if you, if you keep messing with it, you're just going to screw it up. It's like, they're one of these things where you paint it and then forget it exists. Just forget it's even there. Because, um... The angles just don't feel right. It just does not feel right. All right, so catch up mustard time. I'm going to do a little bit of roll call. I'm going to make myself more coffee because that's always necessary. I'm going to grab a seltzer in the meantime because I'm talking a lot. That's, all I, that's what I do. I talk. That's what we do here. That's what we do at each Creations Paint Party. We talk. Right? So, guys, what's your favorite uh, pirate movie? Right? I like Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, all of those are really, really good. Um, didn't Errol Flynn do a pirate movie? I'm thinking he did. I'm not really sure. So, um, I, you know, I don't know if I could be a pirate, though. I don't know. I don't know if I could be a pirate. I don't know how good I'd be at swashbuckling. <laughs> I'm grabbing some seltzer so my tongue doesn't stick to the roof of my mouth. All right, let's do some roll call. We got Kelly and Jinzy and Tina and Carolyn and Carol. Well, Carol left. But that's okay. Helen and Marie and Joan and Peggy and Debbie and Cindy and Brenda are here. Say hello, hello, hello if you're here. We got awesome things coming up. Oh, next Tuesday, next Tuesday, fam, all of those swashbuckling movies, right, Tina B? I'm telling you, they're fun to watch. Of course, Johnny Depp did the best guy. Come on, who doesn't like Jack Sparrow, right? Like, his, his acting, his, his, he is such a talented man playing those character character roles he really 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 is <laughs> he really 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 is okay so you want to make um let's throw our um let's map in our sharks we're going to map in our sharks and then we'll go back to our boat Like, all the different characters that he played, it's, like, absolutely amazing to me um, how he just, like, gets into character. Did you know, fun, I'm a huge Johnny Depp fan. Huge. So, did you guys know that, oh, and if you guys want to uh, have something really amazing in your coffee, this stuff is so good. I love the pirate movies, too. I also have romance books about pirates. Oh, that is awesome. Sparrow's your maiden name? That is so cool, Debbie. That is awesome. So, Jamie's in here. All right, I have to write Jamie down. And I have to write, uh... Do I have you already, Debbie? I do have you. I gotta add Jamie. So, um... Yeah, you guys, uh, this stuff for your coffee is, like, amazing. I, I'm taking, I'm taking, like, a mini break right now. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> I'll give you guys a chance to catch up mustard. And, uh, get my stuff together here. Getting, uh, getting my caffeine all set up here. 
Um, so those of you watching the replay, just fast forward. <laughs> just fast forward. <laughs> Ooh, oh, thank you so much for the stars, Debbie. That's so sweet of you. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, hon. All right. So let's put our shark shapes in. We learned all about sharks, right? We learned all about sharks and uh, on Tuesday. So this Tuesday, Treasure Island. Oh yeah, that's that was a good one. Late but here. Hello, 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 Bonnie. How you doing, honey? I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here, sweetheart. So you guys learned all about sharks on Tuesday. This Tuesday. There is no how-to. Yes. So, this Tuesday, I'm grabbing uh, white uh, with mini-me and uh, black. Okay? So, this Tuesday, there's no how-to Tuesday this Tuesday. Okay? I, uh, I have a, a paid party to go to, so that's what we're going to do. All right. My one shark's coming out over here. Okay? So, we're going to make our eyeball. We're going to make our eyeball. Right? Fill it in. Fill it in. Oh, Butters is awake. I don't know what he's barking at, but he's awake. He's awake. Alright, so. Color in our eyeball. Just like that. Okay, and remember, uh, remember I told you guys it's all about their their mouths, the shape of their mouths, the shape of the front that makes. The, oh, thank you so much for the stars, Jinsey. You guys, thank you so much for the stars, Bonnie. Thank you guys so much. That's really really sweet of you. <laughs> How will you get by without How To Tuesday? I don't know. I don't know, Tina B. I'm going to miss you all. I am. Um, so, but Friday's painting is our Christmas in July. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's just two birds and soft uh, white woodsy things. And I can show you everything about it. Okay, so now we're going to do uh, grab tiny. I'm grabbing the white and black again. And we're going to do um, the snout of the shark. Let me bring you guys in close. Okay, so we got to do our little shark our little shark snout. Okay, so his snout comes out like this. Comes out like that. And then it's an angle downwards. Just like that. And fill it in. Okay, so it comes off uh, off of his head. You do a little loop around, and then the angle down. Okay, now we got to do his fins, the fins, the fins. So his uh, top fin is kind of like in that little sweet spot right here. Okay, fill that in. So this tiny I'm using is like really beat up. Um, so that's why I'm kind of coloring with him and I can't get like a really good point with him because he's like really beat up. Um, I am like ruthless when it comes to my small brushes. I really am. Um, I leave them sitting in water. I press too hard with them. Um, so my small brushes don't have a long shelf life with me. <laughs> and, uh, that's why I just go to Mr. Nifty for that kind of stuff. And I, uh, thank you so much. Take us with you and film what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. I'm face painting, actually. That's what I'm going to be doing. That's what I'm going to be doing. Maybe I'll take some video of it and then I'll share the video of it. All right, so I'm grabbing Mr. Nifty with my white and my black, okay? And then I'm going to use Mr. Nifty for my, my point. Um, 
yeah, maybe I'll take some video of it. I'm going to be face painting. So, um, I'll try to remember to take some pictures and maybe some video. And then I'll share it. I have to get the okay from the, the event organizer, though. You know, because, uh, if there's, uh, there's going to be kids there. And I, um, I definitely 6,000% ask the permission of the kids. Put it in... <laughs> I got you, Joan. I saved your address, lovey. I saved it. Um, so, uh... Yeah, Mini-Me, uh... Oh, Mini-Me, you can go a little hard with Mini-Me, though, Bonnie. You can go a little hard with him, because he's, he's square. He just winds up, like, fluffing out on you. Um... All right, so we need our, our back fin. Okay, and then whatever's hiding behind the treasure here, that's fine. So we need our back fin here. Put that in. I'm not too worried about it because I'm going to put the, the treasure. So um, we're just going to add that. And then we need our uh, bottom fins. So the, the, the one that's in the front, follow the top of this piece down. And that's the back part of it. That is the back part of it. Okay, and I'm going to use my favorite blending tool ever. Alright, then we need to do the one behind it. I'm going to use Mr. Nifty for that. Yeah, any of you guys, um, any of you guys, especially you guys that are consistent supporters, you all want my heart. I thought I got paint on my face and it's my, <laughs> it's my little pirate X. I was like, what did I get? <laughs> um... If you need nifties or something from me, 6,000%, just hit me up. All right, so I'm going to go right here. Make sure it's, you know, underneath his belly area. And it's just a little piece of fin right there. It's just a little piece of fin right there. Okay. There it is. So you have fin. A little bit of belly area and then fin. Okay? 6,000%. And now I'm going to grab uh, Mr. Um, Mini Me and I'm going to do some zigzag zoom. I'm going to do some zigzag zoom. So I'm going to grab my white and I'm going to do my black. And we're just going to zigzag zoom in this guy to uh, get everything to blend together nicely. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just do a little zigzag zoom. Get everything to be nice and soft and blended. Right? Don't lose that difference between the two colors, between the fin and the body. All right? Whether you make the fin darker or the body darker, that's up to you. Like, you could put, like, what's cool about fish is, like, yeah, there's certain spots that would be a shadow, but you could actually, like, flip-flop that stuff around because the way light is in water, like, all, you know, it's not always the same things that are getting, like, highlighted. So, the, um, you know, following the, uh, the shading and stuff, you can kind of have fun with it. See how my fin is darker and back here is lighter and usually you want to do the opposite. But that's okay because maybe light is coming off of the gold and I just smudge. That's what spits for, guys. I just smudge some into my water. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So let's put in our um, our little skully, skull head. Let's put in our skull head. So, uh, tiny white paint, because our treasure chest is probably uh, dry by now. 
and you're just going to do um, an oval. Right, you're going to do an oval. Right, just scribble circle in, and you're going to do uh, then off of that oval, you're going to swoop around about halfway, drop down. And then come around the top of the oval, drop down, put your line across, and now you have a skull. Now you have a skull. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay? And uh, let's go. Uh, oh, we got jellyfish. We got lots of details in this one. So I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna keep plugging along with the details. And I uh, that way I show them to you, and you guys, when you get to them, you get to them, because none of them really interact. You don't have to wait for one. To, the only thing you have to wait for is the treasure chest, so everything else doesn't really interact, so you can add them or whenever you want. So I got my jellyfish in here, so I'm going to grab uh, blue and white. I'm going to grab blue and white, and we're just going to do a little whoop like that. And a little piece this way, swoop, like that. If you want the tentacles, if you want your colors to pop, you'd put them in white first. So we're just going to add that in there. So I got my little uh, jellyfish going on. I'm going to grab uh, some just blue paint and do a little little zigzag zoom shadow on there. Do, 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 do. Right? I paint wicked fast, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> like, have you guys been catching the videos I've been doing? I want to explain those to you. So, I'm on, um, I try to be, have a presence on all different types of social media. And, uh, now I'm grabbing Tiny with white paint. And I'm going to do my little pieces coming down. Which, uh, can be colored in later. So, you want to do them in white first. They're just little squiggles. Okay, they're just little squiggles. That's all. And then you color them in later. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I'm not even going to draw the other one. You guys get the idea, okay? It's it's uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, just a small little detail. Then you have the other one over here facing the other direction. And then we have our skeleton that's over here. So I've been doing... Um... Cheers, everybody. Um, so I've been doing... So those videos you see, they're uh, they're sped up, they're in hyperspeed, but I literally, um, all the objects I'm painting, I never, I don't paint, hi, I, don't, um, I just want to chat, um, I don't paint any of those, I don't do anything off camera, so um, I basically have like, um, three minutes to do the one minute video and um so i'm learning how like i'm getting even and even like faster and then and some of them do come out a little like wonky but it's really just to give everybody a starting point so you know where to start and you know what kind of shapes to put in and you know what to do and then you can go off on your own and add in all of the um uh thank you bonnie i uh made myself look like a pirate <laughs> that's why i did like the bright lipstick and a little tattoo <laughs> and i got green uh eyeliner on um so it's really just so you guys can get a little glimpse and then um make it your own so i'm grabbing tiny white paint we're gonna do our skeleton Okay, so I'm going to put his head in. Alright, so the head, you're going to just, uh, again, do a, a circle. Right, I'm just doing a little scribble circle. All right, and then I'm going to come down from the side this way. Come in from the side this way. Cut across. Add the uh, chin area, leave a space. Okay, then you're going to do the collarbone. The 
collarbone connected to the the neck bone the neck bone connected to the head bone the head bone connected to the then you're gonna do your little whatever that is sternum <laughs> right and then your sternum then you're gonna do your hips my hips don't lie that song hips don't lie that's a Shakira song um yeah, so those tidbits, they're called tabletop tidbits on TikTok. And they're really, you like the reels, Jensie? Thank you so much. Um, so they're really just little tidbits for you guys to kind of get the juices flowing and get the little basics down. And then you guys can go off on your own and get the general idea and then go in with your details and do whatever you need to do. Now, I purposely made this skeleton's feet go off the canvas so you guys didn't have to play with making a skeleton foot. So you don't have to play with making a skeleton foot. And then I add a little kneecap. I add the extra little bone in here. Okay. So then his arms. And I... So everything's lined and you just don't connect them. And then I do like a little, a little oval over that part. And then the bottom bones are like two. And he's missing his hand. It got cut off. It got cut off uh, doing the battle with this guy over here. This guy lost his whole body though. But his hand got cut off. <laughs> and then the other one, I'm bringing it out. And then... Um, like off of the canvas so you don't have to play with doing a bone and again the little the little swoop for his elbow and then it's just uh, ribs swooping in like this okay so and then you have your skeleton guy and then you grab mr. nifty and you put in um where'd nifty go up oh, dropped him I dropped my nifty Buddy, are you going to help me find the nifty that I just dropped? <laughs> oh, he's a little sucker, this guy. He really is. He's a little sucker. Okay. So, we're grabbing uh, black paint. And let's come over here. He looks like he's wearing a diaper. Yeah, that's like the collar, the, the, the hip bone area. 6,000%. So, uh, eyeball... eyeball and nose and teeth okay and then over on the other guy whoop eyeballs and I put a bandana on them you know you guys can have fun with these guys make them your own put little details on them whatever you want to put nose teeth right and then you have your skeleton dudes and you have what you need to do for your jellyfish uh bikini bottoms right hello 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 gloria how you doing sweetheart the sacrum thank you jincy <laughs> i have no idea what those are called i call them hips um all right let's put our detail in mr shark over here so we could uh move on to uh our sales and the other shark and then we're going to be pretty much all set, except me showing you the details on the boat. All right, so this is just uh, having fun and doing the little finished finished pieces on these guys. So his mouth is right where this angle starts going down. Right there. And then the gills are right in front of the fin. Okay, and then his eyeball right here. Right, and then once that dries, you can add your teeth. Eye patch and a bandana would be cute. You broke yours? Oh, Jincy. <laughs> Thank you, Marie Marie. Jincy, you've had more broken body parts than I don't know what. <laughs> 
All right, before I forget, we got to go back up to our rock. Remember that rock? It seems like we painted last year. All right, I'm swirl tap dab and nifty. And you got to put the, um, the, the water lines around the rock. Okay, so it's just a little zigzag zoom with some white paint. That's all it is. Okay, just zigzag zoom with some white paint, and you can, you know, do a little splash up if you want to. Boop, 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 boop. Like that. And we got to do the water lines. Hello, you're bionic now. You are bionic, Jincy. You got to do the uh, water lines with the boat, which are really cool because they help cover the, um, you know, any of this that might be weird. So behind the boat, I did some squiggles. Like that, right? Just holding my brush up against it and just squiggling back and forth with the white paint. And, um, <laughs> that's all. You're the bionic woman. That's all there is to it. And then you want to start at the front of your boat and you're going to just do, um, back and forth like this. Okay, and all this, uh, these water areas. My white paint is like super goopy right now, and I'm being lazy. I'm not fixing it. Um, so you just uh, do little back and forth zigzag zooms. Notice everything's staying uh, horizontal. Okay, you can cover the bottom of that boat since uh, it might be a little weird or wonky on you. I'm just dabbing now. Okay, as you get further back, they're smaller. It's smaller. All right, I'll grab some water and fix my white. Because it's really goopy. And it's hard to do water lines when you have goopy paint. All right, so I fixed my white. Nice and thin and loose now. <laughs> and on this side, okay, you want to do your little do 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 on that side. And then you could do your splash up on the point. Floop, floop. They're just little flicks. Just little flicks on the po on the, the point of the boat. That's all it is. And you can do some splash ups on the side. Just little flicks. That's all that is. Okay, and you do some dots. All right. So much better with the paint thinned out, right? Say, Eve, don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Sometimes you get lazy and then you get frustrated because you're not, you're trying to work with something that's just not going to work. <laughs> it's just not going to work. So as you move your way back, you want your lines to be smaller and thinner. Okay? So as you're working your way back here, you want your lines to be smaller and thinner. And I also uh, did like a triangle out. So close to this side in the front, and then as you get further back, you do more ziggy-zaggy because it's going to displace all that water. Hi, Irene. How you doing, sweetheart? All right, and like I said, you can do your splash-ups. You can do whatever you want to do. They're just little flicky-doos. They're just little flicky-doos. That's all they are. And then you can add the dots to them. Okay, 6,000%. Okay, um, this is dry, so I can add my dot. Boop. I can add my teeth. Do, 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 All right, Mr. Shark's done. And we're going to add our treasure. So we have to go in. I'm going to go in with uh, tiny and white paint. We got to put our, our map of white in. We gotta put our map of white in so the yellow pops, okay? So I'm just doing uh, little scribble circles in white paint. And then once this dries, I can go in with the yellows and the microscopic amount of red. Okay, so just little scribble circles filling the whole chest up here. That's all this is. And then I put a crown on top. So we'll do the crown. 
We'll do the crown. So you guys like the little reels? You like the tidbits? Um, they're pretty cool. So if you're uh, not on TikTok, that's okay. Uh, so my crown, two straight lines, boop, boop, like that, and one in the middle, boop, and then do the. I kind of messed that crown up, didn't I? All right, hold on. So let's make a square. What did I do? Oh, I didn't make it wide enough. Okay, so we got to make it wider. All right, so do your square. And then you do your three triangles on top of that square. Okay, so these are the details I put in. You guys, I want you guys, obviously, go rogue, have fun with this. Maybe you can add, like, some swords. You can add, uh, like Tina B said before, um, some, uh, like, a patch. I put a bandana on him. I'm not going to turn around and over show you things. Because I want you to have fun with this. I want you to have your own details. I want you to make it your own. I'm going to show you how to do the sails. I'm going to show you some details on the boat and the other shark. And we're going to be all set. Okay, guys? So take some time to catch up mustard if you are ha having and playing with all your little details that were on the bottom. Super fun. Lots of different things you could do. You could put different things in your treasure. You can turn around and make all the jellyfish you want. So, um, this is totally your domain. If there's something you want to see, let me know. I'll show you 6,000%. Okay, we're going to put our sails in, and I made it nice and easy for you guys. So, our sails, instead of worrying about all the different shadowing that happens with sails on a sailboat, I literally just made them different colors. Like, they're all in the same family, but they're just different colors. So this way, you guys don't have to worry about putting the shading into the sails. Like, you don't have to worry about the overlapping and the shading and all of that stuff. It's going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy for you. Because when you look at a sailboat, when you look at a boat... And the sails, the sails, like, constantly cast shadows onto the other sails. And, and it gets a little tricky because it's, like, it's cut lines. It's not a blended shadow. It's, like, a little cut. Like, when, you, when we did the paper, remember when we did the paper? It's shadows like that. And that is time-consuming, number one. Number two, it could get frustrating because you got to do all these angles. And you got to... Like, it's, it's a big mental job. So, we're keeping this easy and fun. And we're just going to make the sails the same color family, but different shades. That's all. Different shades for the sails. Okay? So, <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing. Maybe someday, or maybe I'll do, um, maybe I'll do, like, little, uh, it's a, it's a thing. I mean, 6,000%, if you guys want to look at a picture of a sailboat, can't get the front of the boat right. Joan, stop playing with it. <laughs> when I painted this, I said, put this in and stop playing with it. Okay? Because it's awkward and it's weird and it doesn't look right. It's not going to look right. It's right. But it doesn't look right. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't seem like it's right. But if you put in, if you follow this angle here, put this angle in over there, and then do this piece like that, same type of swoop, make it darker, leave it alone. Stop playing with it. And then all you do is right here where it connects to that point, you make this side lighter. And forget this exists. You can, you don't have to do that part if you want to just have it like that. You can have it like that. You don't have to do that part. Everybody's going to get the idea. But um, that's... Hi, April. That is my advice for this piece of the boat. Forget it exists. Just that's how you make them. You put this piece here. Same angle. 
that piece there. This swoop like this, and then the triangle swoop around. Hello, 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 everybody. Um, and then you make where this is, it's kind of curved, and you make that lighter. That's it. That's it. And then, because it, I'm being honest with you. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't look right. It's one of the trickier things to finesse. And in my experience, <laughs> that's right, April, you came in right on my motto, leave it alone. Um, it's been my experience with painting boats. You got to forget about it. You got to forget about it. You got to just, because it, it's one of those tricky things. It, it really is. It's one of those tricky things. And I've noticed in my experience, if I just follow those three simple rules, th this angle and this angle match as far as steep and swoop, and then just highlight this front part on that curve, on that point with the curve. And then I leave it alone. Because it is a very strange, weird thing. All right. So, we got to put in our masks. Yes, April, you came right in on when I was doing one of my theme things. Okay, so we got to put in our masks. So, I'm going to swirl tap that big boy. Bye, Bonnie. Love you, girl. You have a great night, sweetheart. All right, we got to do our masks. So, nice, thin, flat, big boy. Three straight lines down. All right, I'm going to grab... So, I think I had enough brown, guys. <laughs> I'm going to grab some of my brown. I'm going to grab some of my black. I'm going to make sure it's nice, thin, nice and thin. Nice, thin line on here. Okay? And we're going to put the one in the middle first. And now, mass of a boat. I'll give you a heads up. I made these... I made these off of the canvas so you didn't have to worry about matching up the sizing and you didn't have to do all of the sails but I'll give you the heads up the sails of a boat are like three times as big as the boat all right hold your brush nice nice straight th razor whoosh cut me uh, line hold my brush back here find my center oh and drop. Whoop, I wiggled. If you wiggle a little bit, that's okay because you can cover it up with a sail. I wiggled a bit and just pull it in to the rest of the boat. Okay, sail number two. Take my brush, little brown, little black, wipe it on the edge, nice and thin. Okay. And we're going to do the one that's in front of it. Okay, know where you're going. Drop. Okay, and if you wiggle a little bit, that's okay, because you cover it with a sail. And number two, uh, you know, and I just made it a little thicker on the bottom than the top. And the third guy... Same thing, make sure my brush is good, and come in here, I'm going to be dropping it right there, and drop, right, and that's why we did this black in here, so you can't really tell uh, where the sails are beginning, you know, you can't see in there, we did that on purpose, okay, so we're going to drop those in, and then the little house on the back, Little house on the back. I'm grabbing my brown. I'm grabbing a smidge of white. Nice and thin on my brush. And following this square piece right here. Okay, I'm going to put a little piece like here. Right there. Let me give you a close up. Close up! Um, yes, Joan. So I feel your pain, sweetie. I feel your pain. I wish I, I had some magic for you, but I don't. Um, right, I'm going to put the other piece in right here. Drop it down. Cut it across. And 
cut this piece in there, cut across like that, and color it in. Color it in. Okay, and your your mast your mast should be in front of this. So when you color this in, if you wind up covering that piece of mast right there, just put it back. Okay, and then I'm just gonna grab some black paint and I'm gonna give it a door. Just like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's just a square, guys. That's all it is. And I'm going to wipe my brush off and grab some black and I'm going to put in that the mask again because that is in front of the little house. The little house that's on the boat. <laughs> the little house that's on the boat. Oh, and don't do what I'm doing. Don't keep playing with them. Don't keep playing with your mask because it's going to wind up thick and chunky like that. Okay. And this, this mask in the back should be smaller than the ones in the front. Now, I don't know anything about boats. I really don't. I don't know jig or sails or starboard or any of that kind of stuff. All right. So if you want this to be... 6,000% accurate on uh, as far as your sails are concerned and the shape of your sails and all that kind of stuff. Uh, look at a picture of a boat. I know there's two triangle pieces. I put those in and then the rest are squares. But as far as... Um... <laughs> Leave it alone, Eve. <laughs> Take my advice. I'm not using it. <laughs> And all that good stuff. Okay, another weird thing. Another thing that feels really weird is this piece. Okay, that's another thing that feels really weird. So I'm going to grab my brown paint. What you do is you follow this right here. So literally take your brush and start here. And then you're just going to follow that curve around and pull out just like that that is how you put that little stemmy piece in again feels weird looks weird all of that good stuff so just put it on there and then leave it alone okay you notice how I hold my brush like right here and I did a really careful and I just kind of fix that line but very carefully and with a very light touch and then I'm just going to grab my white again and I'm going to put that highlighted part back on following that curve okay and then you can put some into the the pole if you want to but notice I'm holding it here and just using the flat of that brush and pressing lightly and schmoozing that so that's how you can schmooze with your your big flat brush okay and I want to I'm gonna re put the highlight on the edge here All right there we go okay so um, let's do our shark and uh, I'll go I'll come back and it's kid friendly so it's just weird <laughs> that's right April <laughs> It's just a little bit strange. <laughs> Meanwhile, you want to like throw the, the can. <laughs> so you guys drop all of those little fun, fancy words that you like and um, just roll with it. Just roll with it. Have fun with this. And if it's your first boat, guys, keep that in mind. Boats are tricky. They really are. Um, I love you. I love every single one of you. And I know that you can get these basic shapes down. I know you can follow what I'm saying. This is a big practice of leave it alone, okay?
and it's a big practice of practicing and playing with all of those uh, swoopy lines, right? They're all like swoopy angles, and they're really weird, and they're really awkward. So, um, guys, just remember, if this is your first boat, like, I've painted a lot of boats, and it's still, like, that don't look right. <laughs> And it's just been my experience to kind of get it, put it on there and roll with the punches. That's been my experience. Okay, shark number two. <laughs> Excuse me. Shark number two. And then we're going to put our sails. And then I'm going to show you, like, the rigging and the lines and all of that good stuff. And we're going to put the details on our shark. And we're going to be good to go. Um, if you guys want to see, I'm working on a painting. And it is another boat. Okay, so I'll show you the one I'm working on. This is for a, a commission. Okay, you guys see that boat? All right, do you want to know how many times I've painted this square front piece? <laughs> do you want to know? Do you want to know? Do you want to know how many times I've painted this angle in? <laughs> So, uh, this is a, a commission piece I'm working on, and um, I, feel, I feel the frustration, guys. I love you. You can do it, and um, you're going to be okay, all right? Because it's, uh, I definitely understand the emotion and the feeling behind it, and um, like I said, I don't, and this sale isn't right. This sale is um, the wrong way, but... Um, it's all good because you know what you can let it dry and you could fix it all right so just to tell you six thousand percent so I'm working on this commission piece and uh, I feel it I feel your frustrations guys so um, it's all good it's all good remember remember my motto have fun right remember my motto have fun Swoop, there it is. You got it, sweetheart. <laughs> Swoop, there it is. Oh, I want to ask you guys a question. Um, I want to ask you a question. I um I need to order those t-shirts. So we got we can have painting shirts that have um the sayings on them. Now I'm looking at those. I uh I know you guys probably seen them in Michaels. I'm looking at, because I, I want a nice, I want a nice, I want to keep it affordable, but I want a nice, like, thicker cotton shirt. I want a nice, thicker cotton shirt. So, um, I'm looking at those, what's those, Gildan or Gildan, Gild, Gildian, what, um, the ones that they sell in Michaels, and, um, it's like a big brand. I want to ask you guys, I was going to, tell me if this is good. I was going to get uh, the men's because the women's, they sometimes cut it in on the sides and they're not, I want them big and comfy in a painting shirt and just to be comfortable. Gildan, thank you, Tina. Thank you, Jincy. Gildan, Gildan. Okay. Thank you. Um, so I was going to get the men's because they're cut more square and they're roomier and comfier. Um, yes, yeah, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, April. That's definitely going to be one of them. I was going to get large and extra large. Because I really wasn't... I, it's this way, if you're small, um, you know, you can have a nice, big, comfy shirt. But if you're a larger girl like I am, I wear a, a 2X. So, I wasn't sure. In the men's, I think an extra large is like a 2X. So... Uh, is that cool? Large and extra large uh, shirts? Or should I... Um, you guys tell me. You tell me. So, it's definitely going to be the Gildan shirts. And you guys tell me um, if that's a good plan. Okay? So, and I'm going to um, I'm gonna make some up. That's good, April. Thumbs up. Okay. Yes, S, extra large. Okay, cool beans. All right, cool. Thank you guys so much. So, I'm just going to get a whole bunch of random colors. And I'm going to throw the sayings on them. Eventually... Uh, eventually I'm gonna, um, 
have them to where you can create it like pick your color pick your saying but that's going to be like really far down the road because i'd have to figure out the technology for you guys to do that um so for now i'm going to get a bunch of different colors uh large and extra large because you guys are giving me the thumbs up on that works for you joan excellent extra large tina okay great ketchup mustard is going to be on there um so and then i'm going to put a, a bunch of the different sayings on the different shirts and then once I got to go to stocking, just so everybody can see the graphics and see the example of it, and then you could order it with the saying already on it. What I'm going to do with the fam is uh, once I have that initially set up, um, you guys will be able to message me and tell me like the saying you want, and I'll tell you what colors I have available. So we can do that on a personalized level through like just messaging for now instead of hitting buttons. But the first, the first load of them, now we're, this is going to be months. This is going to be, hello Sandy, how you doing lovey? This is going to be a little bit, okay? It's not going to be ready tomorrow because I don't even have the shirts yet. I didn't know what size to order. Um, I'm going to make them up with the sayings on them. And then, then you'll be able to see what they're going to look like. And then you could order the color and the saying and I can get them made okay but it's a process so we're not talking instantaneous gratification we're talking communication we're talking um, getting my uh, graphics person to make the shirt we're talking um, ordering the shirts so it's a thing I just didn't know which sizes to order and you guys just hooked me up with that so thank you so much all right Whew, all right, so I'm going to finish painting. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, whoever's watching the replay, just hit the fast forward button. Make one each with sayings. Don't go overboard. Uh, yes, good idea, Tina B. They're kind of going to be like the um, the pilot. All right, so the other shark, right? So we're going to do, and he's at an angle, and his tail's behind him. All right, so you're still going to do your eyeball. It's just going to be at an angle, so you can draw your angled line in like this then extra large yes sandy okay so the gildan i'm getting the vibe i should just order extra larges and not the larges you guys think i should just order all extra larges because i'm a big girl and i like things big and comfy all right so you draw your line at an angle you do your uh, eyeball on either side so it follows the angle Fill it in. I'm one of those big comfy people. Has anyone saying baby shark? <laughs> no. No. Yeah, yeah. So maybe I should just order extra larges then. And you're a 2X as well. All right, so we're going to we're gonna do the... Uh... <laughs> I love it, Irene. <laughs> you did it on Tuesday. You got it out of your system, Gina B. I don't know, I don't know how Baby Shark goes. I forget. Do, um, Mama Shark, Baby Shark. All right, so once you got your eyeball, you got to do his, his head. He's a little more pointy, so pull it out. Bring it in a little more flat. Color it in. Okay, his back fin. This is going to swoop towards the back like that. So you're going to swoop that towards the back. And then put his fin in. Okay, there we go, and then his, um, this fin and his fin on top are closer together because this piece is actually bending towards the back. Two X as well, um, 
No, please get, uh, you're not very large. Okay. All right. I'll do both. I'll do both. My canvas is all broken on your string, on my, on your screen. Yeah, I know. It's internet problems, Peggy. I'm sorry. Um, we're almost done though. So, uh, his fin. Yes, this is going to be closer together. That's because this is kind of swooping back like that. So, this fin and this fin are closer. Whoop, drop my brush. Are closer together. Okay. Whew, I'm working tonight, guys. <laughs> okay, I'll get the largest. I'll get, all right, Carolyn, uh, Peggy, I hear you. Um, I'll get the, uh, I'll get the largest, too. I'll get the largest and extra largest. Okay, then you need his other fin, right? Follow here. And this time, when you bring it down, it's the front of the fin that lines up. Do a little zigzag zoom. Okay, and then his, um, gonna grab tiny. His other fin is um, coming out this way. Really small piece of it. Right, I'm gonna grab mini me and I'm gonna grab my gray and I'm gonna zigzag zoom. Yep, I got you guys. All right, larges, extra larges, gildan, um, and I'm um, gonna make some prototypes. And uh, which you guys can, will be able to order. And then, um, did you guys know it's Shark Week? I like did this the perfect timing of Shark Week. All right, now I got the gray on here. I'm just gonna zigzag zoom. I'm gonna clean up the edge where his fin is. I'm gonna connect this fin. Okay, zigzag zoom my gray. Get this all nice and blendy, blendy fix my edges now this is further away so his I'm gonna make it really dark okay so I'm grabbing black paint I'm gonna put the black paint on there I'm gonna wipe my brush off I'm gonna grab my my white uh, Peggy I'm so sorry about that and now I'm gonna zigzag zoom and I want to make this fin darker because it's further it's um behind him it's like behind him so you want to make this darker and I'm just zigzag zooming I'm just zigzag zooming and making that darker and then a light 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 touch zigzag zooming okay and then I have light right there so I'm gonna that right there and get the lighter part on here okay and we're just zigzag zoom and that's all we're doing and I want to cut the shape of that fin in better okay so this back here is darker than the rest of them okay won't let you send stars either I don't know yeah I'm sorry I'm sorry. I have the PayPal Cash App and Venmo uh, for you guys, too. Thank you so much for the thought, though, Peggy. I appreciate it. I'm sorry about this internet stuff, guys. I don't know. Okay, the sales. Big boy. Big boy. Okay. I have all this brown on here, so I'm going to grab the brown. And I'm going to grab some black. And we're going to start in the back and work our way up. Okay? So all it is is squares, and then you, but you curve the edges and make points. Okay? So I'm going to start up here. And I'm going to... Um, and you want to have it... Here's the middle. So same on either side. And the angle... You're going to have it angled a little bit. Okay? So put it in. Just put your block of color in having it the same amount of color on both sides and then put your angle in because the boat's at an angle so the sail's going to be at an angle okay 
put your angle in, and then you're gonna you're gonna swoop it to curve it. You're gonna swoop it to curve it to a point. Okay, and then um, oh, thank you so much, Sandy. Um, and then the other side, you swoop it to curve the other side. Okay. So that's how you do your sales. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So we're gonna start with the ones in the back. Now we need our triangle. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of white and some brown. And then there's a triangle sale on this guy. So I'm gonna uh, do a triangle this way, triangle that way. And then his angle really doesn't matter. Uh, because it's just, you know, it is what it is. It's just a triangle sale. Let me give you a closer look. Hi, guys. Um, so his angle doesn't really matter right there. This doesn't matter. It's just a triangle sale. Uh, just make sure the point is up here. And then the longer piece is on the bottom. Keep it behind this mast right there. Okay. Okay. And you've got your triangle sail in. Now I'm going to, um, I'm, and I'm basically just going to go lighter and lighter as I work my way forward. So I'm going to just keep grabbing my um, paint and I'm going to grab a little bit of white and I'm going to grab uh, some brown now, uh, maybe a smidge of black. Okay, so I'm just going to make my sails lighter and lighter as I move forward because um looks good to you too okay great because this is further away everything's going to be dark back here so again do your sail so here's this mast you're going to do your square on either side to make sure you have the same on this side and that side all right then you're going to do your angle Okay, then you're going to do your angle, right, all following the same angle, so then you put your angle in, like that, all right, and then you're going to, and you got to make sure, if you notice I'm holding big boy like a pencil, you got to pay attention to your paint, you don't want a goopy gobby. That looks gray to you instead of brown. That's okay. That <laughs> looks good to you too, Sandy. That's all right. Um, gray, brown, beige. I don't know. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the stars, Irene. You guys are really sweethearts. Thank you so much. Those of you who don't know, the stars are a way to send support. And they're a penny each. Okay? So you know what you're spending. So thank you guys so much for the stars. Thank you. They're approximately a penny each. Okay, once you have your angle in, then you're going to do your swoop. And then you round it on this side to follow the swoop. Okay, just like that. Bam! Sail! <laughs> it's grayish. <laughs> Beige and gray. <laughs> there you go, April. It's grayish. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. <laughs> I don't know, it's brown on my palette. <laughs> Maybe because I'm grabbing a little bit of black with it. I have no idea. Okay, so next one underneath that, right? You're gonna do your square on either side first. Right? Make sure you leave enough of a space. So this way you have the same amount on both sides of the mast. Then you're going to turn around and do your angles, right? Following the same angle as everybody else. Angle. Angle. Fill it in. Okay. Then you're going to do your swoop. Swoop. And you're going to do the swoop on the other side to round it and there you go okay 
So let's do the, uh, I'm just saying the color looks different from live to video. Maybe, I don't know, maybe because they're all like in the same fam. And I have been, I grabbed black to do the darker ones, which might have turned it into more of a grayish color. So um, I can totally see that, April. I like that though, Tina B. It's grayish. <laughs> use that again <laughs> if I can remember it I love you guys all right so next set I'm gonna get even lighter maybe because there's black in my white I don't know whatever um I'm gonna grab more white <coughs> with my grayish <laughs> and um, do the next set okay so again square Right, so they're going to get a little bit bigger as you move them forward. I need more white because you can't see that from the other one. All right, so your square, same square on either side, right, same distance. They'll get a little bit bigger as you get closer, okay? Do your angle, follow the same angle as the rest of them. Okay, do your angle just like that and do your swoop then you're gonna do your swoop right so I'm holding my brush here and I'm just going like that so it makes that point for me all right so I'm gonna hold it back here so you can see it because you might not have been seeing how I do the swoop so you just go here and you see I'm covering it again all right so you go here and then you just pull out this way and it makes that point for you okay so but hold your brush here like a pencil to be able to do that all right but I, I just I held it weird so you guys can see how to make that swoop to the point all right put that in and then you're going to uh, put the curve on the other side curve it just like that and there you go all right uh, last one last one same thing last one same thing square right making it a little bigger as I get closer to the front so same distance on either side of the mast. Do my angles, right? Do my angle following the other sail. My angle here, because you gotta do it top and bottom. As you can see the whole sail in this one. Will there be a replay on this? Yes, Gloria, my replays are always, always, always available on my page and on my YouTube channel. So let me, um, let me finish this sail. And then uh, I'll share all the links, okay? Once you have your angle in, you're going to do the swoop with your brush. Again, you hold it, hold it closer here so you can have control. But I'm going to hold back here so you can see it. You're going to start at the top. You're going to pull down. And then you're just going to pull outwards. See? And it makes that swoop for you. I messed it up because I was holding it weird. There you go. That, yeah, it's a little, that's a little, like, that's a little extra. Uh, that's because I was holding the brush weird to show you guys. <laughs> and curve this side. And curve that side. Okay. So, um, I'm going to let this dry a minute. We have one more sail. It's the triangle one that's kind of connected to this thing. And then uh, I'll share, I'm going to share the links with you right now. Hi, guys. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Cheers, everybody. Arr, mateys. <laughs> it's Shark Week. It's Pirates. It's Treasure. It's all of that good stuff. Right? I know. Thank you for hanging tough with me. This is this one's got a little bit to it. So we got to hang tough a little bit. Let me share my, um, my links. Okay? So the YouTube, Carol, is... Um, Ba, 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 da, ba, is right here okay those of you that want to send support first first off thank you thank you so much 
Second off, um, I have uh, PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. So I will I will share all of those links. So here's PayPal. Bam! And here is Cash App. Uh, ba, 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 da, ba. I gotta find them. There's Cash App. Bam! And then there's Venmo. Alright, those of you who have been with me a minute, you might have noticed a change in the Venmo. That's because I made a business Venmo account. So, it's a different link now. Alright, so there's all the links. There's your YouTube link. Um, should be on there real soon. Uh, my sister does it for me. And, um, the support links. <laughs> Okay, all right, so we're going to put our little details in our shark, and we're going to do our triangle sale, and um, we're going to be all set. If there's something you guys want to see, um, something I didn't do, or maybe something you're thinking of adding to your painting, 6,000%, uh, now's the time to tell me. Now's the time to tell me so I can show it to you. Okay. Oh, thank you so much, April, for the stars. You guys are so sweet. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. Thanks for keeping the lights on. I appreciate it. Light is important. And I, you know what? I'm a little, I'm a little distracted tonight. That's why this painting's taking forever. But I want to show you this, this sweetness right here. Um, you guys ready to see this? I'm going to try not to disturb him. look isn't he a little doll look how sweet he is he's all cozy in there I just want to crawl up oh wait I disturbed him a little bit there he is he's knocking off now oh he's such a good boy Don't you see them like that? And, right? Not all treasure is silver and gold, people. Not all treasure is silver and gold. Okay? So, I'm showing you my treasure. I'm showing you my personal treasure, my baby. Um, don't you ever see them like that? And you just want to, like, crawl up and, um, and, like, snuggle with them when they're like that? 6,000%, <laughs> right? They're so cute. The butters, ooh, maybe I should do one with the butters on it, like a, a skull. Oh, you missed it, April. I did the skulls, but I'll do another one if you want to. Um, so, um, I'm Swirl Tap Dab and Mr. Nifty, and I'm going to put the details in my shark. So, we need the, uh, the mouth, right? It's in this little... <laughs> Not all treasure is sugar, uh, silver and gold, guys. Okay, so you got to put his mouth in. Right in that little sweet spot right there. Okay, Peggy, sorry about that, love. You have a great night, honey. And the eyeball. And the gills. Yes, you have a cat and a bird, Gloria. All oh, the little fluffers. I'll see you next week, honey. Bye, Peg. Sorry about that. All right, so we'll tap dab, grab some white. Right, and when they're and they're all curled up, you just want to like curl up with them. Okay, and I'm gonna do my little twofers. Okay, and uh, April, you want to see uh, the skull again? So, um, even though you were late to class, <laughs> I'll, uh, Jinzy says you'd snuggle with Chewy, but he would wake up and walk away. <laughs> oh my God, that's hysterical, Jinzy. Okay, white paint. And, um, <laughs> Got three of yours laying on you. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so white paint. And to do uh, this skull, it was an oval. So you basically draw a circle or an oval. To do the sideways, you follow this swoop this way. And then you drop it down. 
All right, April, um, if you want to do a front facing one, you do your circle or your oval. And then you follow around the side and then drop down the jaw, follow around the side, drop down the jaw. And then you have your front facing skull. Okay, and then you just add your eyeballs and your nose and stuff in there. So, um, obviously after it dries, but you're going to add your eyeballs in, your two little boop boop for your nose, and then your doot 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 three lines for your skull. Okay, so April, that's how you would do a skull. That's how you get the shape of the skull. So it's a circle, and then you just swoop the jaw in. Okay, so our last sale is a triangle sale. Okay, and I put a little pirate on there. Um, like I said, I want you guys to have fun with this and do your own thing. So you can do all your markings and your details. You're welcome. You can do all your markings and your details uh, the way you want. I put uh, little bracket pieces in here. Um, the windows, as you're moving back. <laughs> As you're moving back, cool, I like how you write that, April, cool, K-E-W-L, um, they get smaller and smaller, all right, so you put your window up here, and then as you're doing your circles, they get smaller and smaller, all right, and then the little railing pieces, they're just uh, a line following the side of the boat, and then you put your pieces down, okay, and that's another thing with a boat is it looks really weird, but then once you start adding all the details to it, it sort of comes into place. It sort of comes into place for yourself. Okay, so the last sail is a, a triangle, and it's like connected to this one. So um, this one I'm just going to make even lighter than the rest. Like I said, just make your sails different colors. If you want to do your sails with the shading, uh, Google yourself an image of a sailboat and follow all the lines. And so this one's the triangle because it's connected to this thing right here, whatever that thing's called. So I'm going to start up here and I'm going to pull down like that. And then I'm going to come across this way. And I'm going to pull down this way, so you make your triangle. Okay, and uh, the angle of this one doesn't really matter too much. I mean, it is angled upwards a little bit to follow the boat, but it doesn't have to be like the same angle as the rest of the sails, because this one's just attached differently. And I'm going to color it in. We're going to color it in. Just like that. And then you got to add the um, swoop part to it. So the swoop part is um, on this side. So again, you're going to just take your brush. I'm holding it weird so you can see. But you just take this and you pull and pull it out like that. And then connect it. You know, you don't have to be as extra as I'm being with it. It's just that I'm holding my brush weird. But that's how you get the uh, the swoop on the one side. And then you want to round this side out a little bit. Just like that. Okay. And then there is your triangle sail that's in front. Now, to do... Um, the, all the rigging. Boy, I'm coming out with all these technical boat terms, right? Rigging and this thingamajig right here and sails, <laughs> mass. <laughs> all right. So to do this, okay? I have no idea how sails are connected to a boat. Look at that little weird one right there. I know that that is not right. <laughs> but um, also, whoever was having issues kind of losing faith in the boat, it's okay. 
um, that it doesn't look right because once you add all the little details, once you add the little railings in, once you add the windows in, once doing the strings, the rigging, like 6,000% puts it all together. Like those three little details, the little windows, the railing, and the, and the strings for the sails. And then you have a sailboat. So, if you guys want to uh, have your rigging the um, um, correct, <laughs> look at a picture of a sailboat. I, I mean, I do look at a picture of a sailboat, but then I kind of take uh, creative freedom and just start putting lines in where I think they'll look cool. So, um, I'm, I'm grabbing uh, water. I'm grabbing Nifty. Um, those of you who sent me support, message me your address so I can send you nifties. Um, those of you that want a brush set, message me. Okay, and um, water nifty. Nice, loose, thin paint. And literally, you just drop in lines. So, last close-up of the evening. Okay, you literally just drop in lines of where <laughs> so like I'll put a line here okay and then um, you know this one's kind of like on a bar so I put a bar underneath it so I'm holding nifty nice and still in my hand and I'm just moving my hand and and letting the bristles pull behind it and I kind of put the uh, the bar in there that's under the triangle one now, obviously, you would do this once it dries sufficiently. Okay, so I put the bar in under that one. And, you know, come back in here and maybe put, um, you know, from here to here, right? You could put in another piece like that, another string in. And, you know, so you just add these strings in wherever you think... Uh, Wherever you think that, you know, like I said, unless you want to look at a sailboat and, um, you know, get them all like 6,000% exactly how they're supposed to be. I just kind of add them in to where I think it looks cool. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And then I always put uh, like a boop boop between the two sails of like one's going straight down. And then, like, say with this corner, I'm just going to pull and have something hiding, you know, and then have it hide behind the other sail, like that. So, 6,000%, uh, this is going to uh, really bring out the, um, maybe put another bar under this one, right? Put a string coming out to the edge. Uh, 6,000%, this is going to, this little detail right here just automatically makes it, like, look like a boat. Okay, I'm going to put a line here. All right, connecting those two sails. Um, you know, you want to try to make your line smaller the further away you go. And, um... You know, maybe another string is on this triangle one back here. So put that in. I'll put a string on this at this corner right here. Put that in. Okay. And then once you add all this rigging, it it's starting to look like a boat. Okay. Maybe um, maybe from the top of this triangle piece to this mast right here. All right, so wherever you think, like, corners would be getting pulled, that's where you want to add your uh, your strings in. All right, and then the little portholes, right, you start off small and get bigger as you get closer. Okay, so you start off small, and then you just make them bigger as you get closer, following that angled line, that swoop line. Okay, and then you can uh, outline them. 
you know, outline them. I'm grabbing brown and white or, or my brage. Okay, so you guys have fun with this. Make it your own. Do whatever you need to do. Um, like I said, don't get frustrated. Leave it alone. Uh, things are going to look wonky and weird to you, and that's okay, especially if you've never, ever, ever painted a boat before. Those are like... <laughs> oh, my gosh, the circles. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, um, that's the deal. Okay, guys, and um, there is your pirate ship, your treasure, your sharks, and our mateys. What a great Friday. So much fun with everybody. I love you, fam, so much. You know that. Uh, when you start painting stuff and it starts to look like this, um, it's time to uh, stop painting. <laughs> When you're painting, you're supposed to be doing circles that look like portholes and they come out like that. <laughs> that means it's time to stop painting. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I love you all. Uh, you are all amazing, 6,000%. And um, I hope you enjoyed this Friday. I hope you enjoyed this painting. I absolutely did. There is no How To Tuesday next, next week. Okay? So... I know you're going to miss me. And then, uh, what's in my coffee? <laughs> uh, cinnamon creamer. I actually showed it before. It's delicious. Um, next Friday, ba bam Everybody thank Jincy for this one. We're going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to show you how to do all that misty, snowy white color. And our two cardinals. So, ba bam And then the following Friday... We have our um, sparkly moon um, sunset beach. So somebody asked me, uh, do we need a black canvas? I, I'm i using a white one, but um, thank you, Jincy. If you guys want to do this on a black canvas, it would probably be easier. <laughs> It'd probably be easier for you because then you don't have to paint in all that, that black in for the sky. So see the sparkles so uh six thousand percent um you know if you want to do the black canvas go for it i'm going to be working on a white one but it doesn't matter all right so we're going to do this um the following friday and then i have to make another painting <laughs> thank you so much jincy yes joan um do we need glitter uh do you need it? No. Can you use it? Yeah. <laughs> right? Definitely. 6,000%. I don't play with glitter because I'll find glitter on butters like a year later. So I, I, don't, I don't do the glitter thing. <laughs> it literally, um, yeah. So butters be walking around with glitter on his tail like a year from now <laughs> if I took out glitter. <laughs> But if you guys want to use glitter, you can use glitter. You can use glitter on this painting if you want to. If you want to make your gold and your treasure, right? All this is is yellow in here with some orange. That's it. Um, <laughs> hello, 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 Carolyn. It's all good. Uh, you guys can put glitter on this if you, you know what I mean? If you want to do some pirate swords and then make them glitter. You know, have fun with this. 6,000% go rogue. You guys know I support you going rogue. I have to paint something that's going to use all of this brown. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Bree Bree. The ship looks awesome. And you guys, um, it is in the event page, uh, the spot to share your paintings. Uh, we share as a family. Just keep in mind, this is probably the first time you guys are ever painting a, a sailboat. So, remember that. Remember my motto. Have fun. Okay? Have fun with it. Try your best. Don't throw the canvas. You're going to be fine. You add the little details to it, and then it works out being um, better for you. Love it. Love you guys. So, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for the support. 
Um, messaging me is the easiest way. I'm so happy you found my account too, Bree Bree. Um, message me is the best way to contact me if you ever have any questions or if you want to uh, just chit chat, whatever. And um, I love you all. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'm going to end this live now. Okay, so have fun and go create. You all want my heart. Mwah. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night, sweethearts. I'll see you next Friday. Okay? Bye.